Hi everyone, this is me Art again, and we got, just got to the second part of this previous video, Operation Charlotte Web, How to Make Profit 101. I don't really know how to title it, but just stick with me. This is the most interesting part, because this is the long-term thinking, this is how we can maximize our profit, and this is much more attractive, I think, to most of people um, who actually just want to try to hoard some cash over Steam and CSGO. Uh, basically out of their hobby so let's just go straight to the process of thinking right I'm just going to just really spit around some thoughts and to see how do I think about stuff maybe some of you will find it beneficial so that will be great now when you tell me there is a new operation in CSGO the first thing that comes to my mind hey man this is just like a CSGO major and what I mean by that is this when a new event is about to appear in CSGO, right, Operation Major, there are limited time items, right? There are unique items for a limited time. What do I mean by that is this, again, um, let's take for example Berlin 2019, right? So the tournament just came and we could purchase those team stickers and autographs for a limited time. Those are unique items for the tournament that will be gone in no time, right? It takes like, I don't know, three, four weeks. Um, and that's it, right? The items are gone, you just can't purchase them anymore unless you buy them through the market from actual people. But you cannot buy them for the manufacturer anymore. So this is the same over here. The operation brought with it, right? Some new characters, stickers, cases, um, and then the operation will end by the end of this month, in the beginning of April. And after that, you could only purchase the items through actual people that were smart enough to listen and to buy a lot of shit before it happens. So, this is exactly the same. I hope you can see how it can relate to each other. Now let's talk about the operation items um, and I want to start with the cases. Now the operation brought with it the Shattered Web case, which might be a huge deal because the Shattered Web case has four different knives to it. The Skeleton Knife, Nomen Knife, um, Survival Knife and like the Parkour Knife, whatever that may be. So there are like four different knives that are unique to this uh, kind of case. Now, what if you can't get it anymore when the operation tends? Will we have another like Bravo case or eSport 2013 case? Those really old unique cases that has some value to it, but you just can't get them anymore so easily, only through other people. Because nowadays, the only way you can get the operation case is rather if you buy it on the market or you just complete your stars, the missions, and you know, just get them as a reward in game. You can't get it as a random drop, that's solely based on the operation itself. So what if they will take it off, right? And what about all those awesome knives that you just can't get? So this is really something you should consider. Besides, there is that cool op in there, but um, I think the, the, the knife, this is like a really huge deal. I'm not sure how they will go around it, maybe they will create the shadowed web case as a normal drop. I don't think so, I don't think it will happen. Um, but this is like the biggest deal I think because the shadowed web case it's also the cheapest thing you can probably get right now in terms of the operation uh, items so this is probably something you want to look for personally I bought some and I'm planning to buy a little bit more not going crazy about it to be honest but this is something really should be worth considering the second part um, would be stickers right I'm just going over the item drops, the operation drops, sorry. So the cases is, is probably my number one investment. That sounds like just the best thing you can do. Um, the second thing in the list would be the stickers. Not really something I support. Uh, not, nothing really that I say go for it. I think it will be a little bit useless. Maybe in the short term, maybe you will need to wait a little bit longer than usual. When I'm saying waiting a little bit longer than usual, maybe something like a few good months. So, um, the stickers should be kind of useless, I guess. Same goes to the characters. 
I mean, the characters might be a good idea. You may buy the the female character because this is the only female character there is in CSGO. This is kind of a big deal because everyone here is kind of fucking nerd. Nerd. <laughs> um, so buying the female lady might be a good investment. I wouldn't go for it because it's kind of expensive and I don't think it can really bring a good percentage value other than the shadowed web case because simply it costs more and it will take much more time to double in price so does your profit will double and the last thing that comes to my mind it's the passes we covered in a previous video I bought tons of the Operation Hydra tickets but be mindful that the Operation Hydra was back in 2015 17 sorry the Operation Hydra was back in 2015 again <laughs> But be mindful that the Operation Hydra was back in 2017 and it took plenty of time to get that money back. So I really wouldn't recommend any of that. If you would ask me, go for the Shattered Web Cases. I will show you a little clip of what did I bought. Um, and really that seems like the best investment you can probably get out of those uh, Operation items, really. Go for the Operation shattered web case i think it will be the best investment you can probably make and um yeah take care everyone have a wonderful day enjoy your weekend stick around